Hi you guys, this is Toy from Planning and Teaching. Welcome back to my channel. If you are newly subscribed, thanks so much for subscribing. If you are an oldie, thank you so much for being a goody and staying on with me. So let's go ahead and jump into this video. Today we're setting up my personal planner for 2018 and it is the beautiful sugar and spice planner. So let's go ahead and pop this off. And let's pop this one off. Get this little sticky off the back here. Sometimes they're easy to come up and other times they're just difficult. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm not going to put my name in it yet. Not because I'm not owning it because this is mine. This is my baby but because I want to letter it in there. So I'm not going to put it in there yet. But what I am going to do is I'm gonna pop back here to July and I'm gonna go ahead and pop out the last six months. The only thing that I'm keeping in here um, is the July dashboard. And I'm gonna put these on rings and just put them up on my shelf. Okay, so that's the first thing. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to add in a folder. So what I have here just is some folders that I showed you guys before. And these are from the, these four are from the Glam Girl Happy Planner line. And these are from um, an earlier release. And just because I kind of want to go with the new stuff, I'm gonna pick one of these and I'm going to choose the Ooh La La. I think it's really cute. I think it kind of goes with the theme here. So I'm gonna pop that in next. All right. The next thing I'm gonna do is add some paper. So I have these um, grab sheets and these mini papers. So I'm just gonna grab about 10 of each. And I'm going to put these in next. And I probably should have just put 10 in at a time. But we got them in. Okay. The next thing I'm going to place. Well, first I'm going to put these up first. Um, I'm going to put in... I say I am, but this looks like it's gonna be a little too big, and it is for my heavy planner. So this folder won't work, so I won't be using this envelope, but I will be putting it somewhere, maybe in my memory planner, so that's cute. So anyway, the next thing I wanna do, now normally, you guys, I use a, deluxe cover normally i would put my planner in a deluxe cover i have two I have this um mint green plan a happy life with this gorgeous indigo color inside and then i have this rose gold which is my favorite with this lavender inside but this year for right now i think i want to do something different and i'm going to put on this snap on cover okay now these are very hard to put on you guys they are snap on covers but they're super hard to put on but i'm gonna go ahead and put mine on so this is what it looks like now that um i put on the snap on cover so now this is going to protect my little glasses so i think that is so cute so now we have this in there the next thing i'm going to do is add two dashboards so they didn't come out with any new dashboards. I don't think that were not a part of the Happy Girl line. So I'm just going to um, use these. Now it does come with stickers that you can put on top, but I'm not going to do that. Two of them at least. So this first pink one, I'm going to lay 
on the dashboard so I can just quickly flip to the monthly view. So I'm gonna put that here. And then the white one, actually I'm gonna put the pink one on the week. So whatever week I'm on, so this is gonna be the first week. Put that there. And then I'm going to put the separate, the one to separate this white and polka dot that says plan a happy life. And it'll just kind of separate my folder and then my paper will be back there. Um, Actually, let's move this. I'm gonna just move my folder. I'm gonna put my folder in front. So this folder here, well, you'll see the folder before the dashboard. So I can put different things back here in my folder and then the dashboard will separate my pages, okay? And then the last thing I wanna do is I wanna add a, elastic band. Um, I'm gonna go with the gold one. That is so cute. Plan a happy life. And then that's there. Now, so that's going to keep it laying nice and flat, keep it together and everything. Let me take that off. So now you can see the thickness of my planner. Um, so I'm so excited to start planning in this. It was super easy to set up. So let's go ahead and set up our monthly and our dashboard in our personal planner. So I'm going to pop out the dashboard and then I'm going to pop out my monthly page. Okay, and I'm gonna put this to the side. Okay, now this is just my personal planner. It's kind of like my catch-all planner to kind of indicate what all I have going on. So the first thing I'm gonna pull out is um, my mini productivity book because I do have an appointment scheduled on the 13th here it is so I'm gonna grab this one it's like pink and orange and I'm gonna lay that one there so I have an appointment on the 13th I have a day off of work and I believe that day off sticker is in here if I'm not mistaken but it may be in the basic sticker book. So let's look in there. Yeah. So I have a day off sticker, so I'm going to grab it. Okay. And I'm going to put it like down here in this corner. Okay, um, I'm also going to cover up that Martin Luther King sticker. I don't know if this one will actually be too big. It probably is, yeah, it looks huge. I'm gonna pull it up anyway and see. Yeah. Let's pull this up first. I'm gonna lay this one down right here. And then I'll put my day off sticker on top of that one. If I can get it to actually lay down. Hello. There we go. Um, what else do I have going on this month? My son doesn't have any doctor's appointments. I don't like that there. I do not like that there, so I'm going to lay that back down. Um, I know that I have that off, so I'm not going to worry about trying to put, indicate I like this being there. Um, 
I don't think I have any other appointments at this time in January. I don't have one in February, but I don't have any in January. So I'm just going to put a few little stickers from my Choose Happy line from the Choose Happy sticker book. Actually, I'm going to pull out an old book goodie. That's going to be my seasonal sticker book. The big one. Because my first theme for the new year is going to be this gorgeous silver um, foiled snowflakes. So I'm going to lay a few of those down. I'm going to put a big one, maybe two or three little ones. So I'm going to put it here. That's cute, you guys. And I'm going to put a little one up here and one more maybe a medium sized one over here yeah that's cute I have a quote from the quote sticker book one that might can fit there uh, I like that one but I don't know Oh, that's a cute one. I'm going to use this sticker here. Now I was reading it, you guys. That's what took me so long to kind of decide. Oh, no. It's cricket. I don't want to cover up my numbers. So I'm just going to turn it sideways and kind of use my lines to. And I'm going to put it down a little bit lower. Okay. And then I do have some excess to cut off, but I can do that very easily. So let's do that. Let's cut off this. So I'm just going to cut off this excess here. Being careful not to cut my dashboard. Okay, perfect. And it says, time is too slow for those who wait, too swift for those who fear, too short for those who rejoice. But for those who love, time is eternity. How cute. And it matches the little heart. I mean, it matches the little florals at the bottom of January. So that works out. Okay. Um, I don't know what time that appointment is. So I'm going to put, I'm going to put nine. A.M. Okay. Um, for that appointment, because we are going shopping for dresses, so I need to remember that I have that going on. And that's going to wrap up the, the monthly section. So let's look at our dashboard. Now the dashboard says that it has some top goals. So. My top goals for this month, um, I want to work out, definitely. Um, I, um, spirit led, and I know what that means, but I don't want to really go into specifics about that right now. Um, I want to start a new um, Bible study. I want to read one new book and then I want to make sure I make time for family so my top three out of that is going to be spirit led spirit lead 
Bible study. For sure, Bible study. And I'm going to make that in time here. And then the other one is going to be to work out. Um, Celebrating this month. You know what? I could have used my Martin Luther King sticker. And I think that's what I'm going to do now that I look at that. I'm going to pull that off of here and I'm going to put it right under here. Celebrating this month, Martin Luther King Jr. Day. How cute. Um, The next one I want to put down. Um, I don't know of any birthdays off the top of my head, but I will probably remember one shortly. So I will add that in later. I'm going to grab my day off sticker and I'm going to put it back. where I had it, which is right here. And I did not put New Year's Day on here. So I'm going to put that right here. And since I'm out for a break, I'm not going to put day off here because I know I'm out for a break. So I'm going to leave that there. Um things that I need to uh, check off this month. Um, Jack's birthday theme. I need to figure that out. That's pretty much it for this month that I can think of that's major that I need to do. So I need to do Jackson's theme. Um, I can put a quote right here where it says big idea, something that is like motivational for this new year. And I've almost used all, well, I really have used all of my clear stickers from my sticker book, but from my quote sticker book. However, in the let me see if I can find it. Yeah, in the Today is the Day sticker book, which has all these gorgeous florals, there's a couple of sheets of clear stickers. I can and I will. That is perfect. I don't even have to look any further. I'm going to put that right there. I can and I will. Okay. So let's go ahead and pop this back in. That is my setup as well as my monthly and dashboard setup um, in my planner. I absolutely love my sugar and spice planner. Stay tuned because I will be doing my weekly plan with me and it will be loaded and ready to go on today as well. Keep God first in everything you do. Give this video a thumbs up and click that subscribe button if you're not already a subscriber. And also click that notification bell so that you will be notified when new videos are up on my channel. Happy planning and teaching you guys. Bye.